Sir, can you hear me? He's unresponsive. Call a code and get the AED and crash cart now. Being able to successfully manage a patient who collapses in cardiac arrest requires working in a coordinated manner with trained ACLS team members. The BLS primary and ACLS secondary ABCD survey is a systematic approach that providers can use to treat almost all patients. The BLS primary ABCD survey focuses on effective and good quality CPR and defibrillation. The first steps are assessing responsiveness, activating the emergency response system, calling for a defibrillator, and checking the ABCDs, airway, breathing, circulation, and defibrillation. Opening the airway, checking for adequate breathing, and providing two breaths are the next steps. Open the airway using a head tilt chin lift maneuver for victims without evidence of head or neck trauma. If you suspect a cervical spine injury, use a jaw thrust without head extension. Check to see if breathing is absent. While maintaining an open airway, look, listen, and feel for breathing. If you do not detect adequate breathing within five to 10 seconds, give two breaths. These breaths are given over one second each and should produce visible chest rise. Occasional gasps are not effective breaths. The healthcare provider should take no more than 10 seconds to check for a pulse. If you do not definitely feel a pulse within five to 10 seconds, begin chest compressions immediately. One. This is the C-step in the BLS primary ABCD survey. Good quality CPR includes giving effective chest compressions, pushing hard and fast, and allowing the chest to completely recoil after each compression. The rescuer should compress the victim's sternum in the center of the chest between the nipples. Depress the sternum one and a half to two inches. It also means minimizing interruptions in chest compressions. Rescuers should avoid excessive ventilations and volume. 15, Without an advanced 15, airway in place, 15, a compression 15, ventilation 15, ratio of 15, 30 to 15, 2 is recommended. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Compressions are delivered at about 100 per minute and two breaths are given over one second each. One, two, three. The code team is on the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, Try to keep interruptions in chest compressions to 10 seconds or less, except for specific interventions such as insertion of an advanced airway. The last step in the BLS primary survey is determining the need for defibrillation. Defibrillation is most effective and survival rates are highest when immediate CPR is provided and defibrillation occurs within three to five minutes. Immediate defibrillation is the treatment of choice for ventricular fibrillation of short duration, such as witness sudden cardiac arrest. These are the key components of the BLS primary ABCD survey. 18, 19, 20, Apply pads to patient's bare chest. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Plug in pads connector. One. Analyzing Three. heart rhythm. Four. Stay clear of pain. Okay, stand back. Shock advised. Charging. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock. I'm ready to now. shock. I'm Press clear. You're clear. We're now. all clear. Start shot CPR. delivered. Begin Immediately with resume One. chest compressions. Four. Rescuer Five. fatigue may lead Seven. to inadequate compressions. Ten. When additional rescuers are available, rescuers should switch roles about every two minutes. Every effort should be made to achieve this switch in less than five seconds. Once you've completed the BLS primary ABCD survey, the existence of persistent cardiac arrest requires moving on to the ACLS secondary ABCD survey. The ACLS secondary ABCDs focus on more advanced assessment and management. They include advanced airway management, IV, IO access, medication use, and searching for and treating reversible causes. Steps include placing an advanced airway device if the bag mass system is not providing the appropriate airway management. This provider should assess risk and benefits of placing an advanced airway against interruption in chest compressions. The provider should no longer automatically place an advanced airway at this step. If an advanced airway, such as a LMA, comba tube, or endotracheal tube, are placed in the patient, confirming the advanced airway device placement by confirmation device and physical examination is required. Additional steps include securing the advanced airway device, confirming effective oxygenation and ventilation. Placement of these devices should occur with minimal interruption of chest compressions. Identifying and monitoring the heart rhythm Establishing IV-IO access, 
administering drugs appropriate for the rhythm and condition, searching for and treating identified reversible causes. Although these steps are listed in numerical order, reality dictates that they are often performed simultaneously. 15, 16, 17, Diane, 18, what do we have? 19, 20, 21, the patient called the front desk with a complaint of chest five, discomfort 26, and shortness of breath. We came within a 30. few seconds and the patient was unresponsive when we arrived. One, two, CPR was begun three, immediately four, and the patient five, was given six, one seven, shock eight, a minute nine, and 48 ten, seconds ago, 11, followed 12, by immediate 13, CPR. 14, 15, okay, ventilations? 16, 17, 18, We're getting good chest rise with the bag mask. It's now two minutes since the last shot. Okay, let's, let's switch the AED over to manual and analyze his rhythm. Switching AED over to manual. Stand back, everyone. Okay, we have persistent VF. Let's go ahead and deliver the second shock at 200 joules, please. Stay clear. Charging. Okay, ready to shock. I'm clear, you're clear, we're all clear. Shock delivered. One, two. Okay, eight, since we have good four, chest rise five, with the bag mass, six, let's continue seven, those ventilations. Eight, eight, Jim, nine, go ahead and establish IV eight, access eight, and give eight, one milligram eight, epinephrine eight, IV. Eight, Let me know when it's in. Eight, okay, eight, I'll prepare eight, to administer one milligram eight, epinephrine eight, IV. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One, two. The IV has started. Eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, Nine, one milligram nine, epinephrine nine, IV nine, given, nine, and the IV is flushed. Nine, nine, okay, Jim, let's prepare nine, 300 eight, milligrams nine, of IV amiodarone nine, next. Be prepared to give that if our next rhythm check indicates VF. I'll let you know when to give it. You should anticipate nine, drug nine, delivery nine, and preparation. Nine, it's been uh, two minutes. Okay, clear to analyze. All right, we have an organized rhythm with regular complexes. Uh, John, do you feel a pulse? Yeah, I feel a good one. Great job, everybody. Let's go ahead and get some vital signs. Remember, the success of any resuscitation attempt is built on a strong base of quality CPR and rapid defibrillation when required by the patient's ECG rhythm. Properly executing the BLS primary and ACLS secondary ABCD survey can make all the difference in whether a patient survives a sudden cardiac arrest.